more. And I started to look at the, the nasal, the air going up the nose, and the pacing that happens with respiratory rhythm and how that's important for the locus cirillus to kind of take a cue from that because the locus cirillus, when it's going slow, everything's cool, right? Not a lot of norepinephrine being kicked out. When it starts to go faster, epinephrine starts to get kicked out, right? So what happens is people aren't able to slow the blue spot down. It starts to get difficult to calm it. And so um, working on this, so the, the, blue, the methylene blue helps, has been, they've done studies where they show that methylene blue helps the locus cirillus. And I just think it's really interesting because it's blue as well, right? Um, but uh, the, there's a study where they took, um, they took phobia patients and they, ex they exposed them to something that would be very scary to them as a therapy, and then they would give them one dose of methylene blue, and they found that these people were able to consolidate, they call it fear extinguishing, right? So they were able to consolidate the short-term memory. So you have an experience, you make that mean something, and then you consolidate what, that, what, what happened there into our long-term memory banks. That's the integration. And literally what's happening is the locus cirrhosis is a, like a thumb drive and it's storing that short-term memory. But in order to take that short-term memory and run it up to the cortex and integrate and consolidate it, the locus cirrhosis has to pause all the way down to 0.5 or 1. It has to literally almost stop. If that doesn't happen, there's no memory consolidation.